Come on, give us a smile. Hey, you! Get over here! Can you give me a ride past them, please? I'm hardly wearing any makeup! Come on, quick, get in! Hey, there's the end! Oh shit, here they come! Go, go, go! Lose them! Man, sorry about that! Here! Ah. Ah. Don't hurt them! I don't need any more lawsuits! Oh, this is a disaster! I am so fucking fat! Oh my god, they cannot get a shot of me! How's my hair? Do I look cute? Shit, that's your concern right now? They crazy, man. What the hell you do? I'm really famous. I didn't do anything. This is my average commute. So who the fuck are you anyway? Who am I? Oh, uh, hello. Take another look. Man, I'm trying to drive. Come on. Are you serious? I'm Lacey Jonas. How out of touch are you? Oh. Oh, shit. I heard of you. Romantic comedies and cheerleading dance-off movies, right? Uh, looks like we lost them. Oh, thank God. Now, would you be a total sweetheart and give me a ride back to the hills? What a day! So what am I, your driver now? Oh, pretty please, I can't walk home! Most men would kill for this opportunity. Oh, nah, shit, it's cool, don't trip. But them motherfuckers back there was ready to tear the meat off your ass if you had any back there, that is. Ugh. Please, I'm such a fat little piggy right now. Ugh, too many french fries. I mean, I mostly just suck on them and spit them into a bucket, but that's still probably like a hundred calories. The media love their little Macy Jonas jokes. All that, she's a skeleton, give that girl a sandwich. Lameness. Whatever, I bet they're all total hippos. When I get home, I'm like totally gonna suck all my personal trainers. Ugh, what I'd give to have a normal life for one day. For real? No way! Are you kidding me? Doing laundry and shampooing my own hair? Ugh, horrendous! No, thank you. I mean, do you have any idea how much money I spent on losing my regional accent? I had to cut all ties with my family. Not because I didn't love them, but because the thought of their lame lives was bringing me down spiritually. You know what I mean? You would really not believe how difficult it is being a celebrity sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sounds like you had it real tough. Thing. The problem is sometimes they love me too much. My publicist told me if you put all my fans together, they'd fill the country of Africa, wherever that is. I had this obsessed fan last year who kept sending me photos of his junk. Then when I didn't reply, he sent me his actual junk in a box, all dried up. It looked like a spring roll. I mean, seriously. How insane is that? And did you know my gynecologist autobiography was the top selling fiction and nonfiction book of 2010? Totally insane, right? Right, totally. It sucks. They're always comparing me to Poppy Mitchell when she's such a diva. I'm way more into making a difference than she is. If I wasn't in entertainment, I'd totally be a doctor or a lawyer. It's so important to me to stay grounded and connect with real people, you know? That's the only way you truly grow as an artist. Literally, nobody tests higher than me on relatability. I mean, you can tell I'm so girl next door, right? Are you listening to me? Yeah, 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 every word. In China, I always travel with lookalikes. I find the language so scary. All those letters look like tattoos. Oh, my people just explained taxes to me? Crazy. I thought they got rid of those in medieval times. Ew, my palms are so sweaty. Oh, that injection must be wearing off. 
Oh, did I tell you about my new underwear line? Lacey, isn't that totally genius? Look, can we say this chat for another time? I'm getting a headache right now. Sure, totally, whatever. This is me. Thanks for saving me from those awful paps. You're such a sweetie.